here and today I'm going to do my very belated part two of my Valentine series. Yes, I know we're almost into the middle of March. So today is a special treat because I'm actually going to have part three included in my review. So part two Well, these are my really old pauldrons that were made with foam and spray paint. And it was part of my Loki cosplay. I haven't done cosplay in like two years. I used to do it fairly regularly, but between COVID and other life stuff, I haven't really done it. I actually don't like this one, but I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Inside this gray cloth, gray, <laughs> green, green cloth. Now, I didn't buy this, FYI. Um, I got it free at a garage sale because I needed something to look like my costume uh, from the movie. see me wear it? Okay. It has pockets. The texture up close. Pretty cool. I mean, even without these pauldrons, probably be pretty cool. Sorry, I'm trying to film around like six, so everyone's coming home.
I'm like, <laughs> I'm not trying to be bossy. <laughs> That's from the customs. I'm kidding. Kind of. Do you want to see part three? <laughs> I can show you part three. They're drying right now. If you can guess what that even means. Here, I'll show you. I just ran all the way upstairs. <laughs> Got what I needed again, all the way back up. Okay, so. Do you remember my first video? When I showed you PVC and what it looks like. For those who don't remember. on the underside, right? And then find it on this side. And now there are sew lines. And hemming lines. And that's one of the main things if you're not familiar with the texture of why this is not, not latex. This is not latex. <laughs> Stop calling PVC latex. All oh, you freaking Insta models. PVC. Girl, your wallet will know the difference between latex and PVC. Let me tell you. <laughs> Do you want to see me wear it again? If you want a custom, email me. Figured I would plug myself. <laughs> And I feel perfectly content running my nails on this. Now, this is PVC. This, my dear beautiful babies, is rubber. Just washed it so it's wet. And then see the difference in the fabric? Because this isn't fabric, it's rubber. What is this even? This baby's old. She's like 10 years old. If you love your latex, by that I mean you clean it regularly and gently, and you give it a shine, you store it properly, it'll last you for a really long time. There's water marks on it because it's not done drying. When it's done drying, I'll pat it down and throw it away. 
the difference in the texture. Helicopter! It's still here. But yeah. <laughs> Look at the difference, you guys. See how it's glue that attaches these pieces. There's no hemlines. This is all custom cut. It's all glue. See that? Do you see it? Do you see it? Versus I feel safe wearing anything with this. This baby deserves love and care and respect. No crazy makeup on like lighter colored latex, like white. Oh goodness. That'll stain it right away. Stain it right away. No crazy lipsticks. No crazy eyeshadow because the pigment will stain the latex. It's fine with this because you won't even see it. There's another difference. If there's a rip. You can sew this bad boy back together, right? Not, not so with latex. This was my first latex outfit, and I wore it for my twenty-second, twenty-second birthday. I got really wasted, and I looked great, <laughs> but I sat on the floor on a concrete floor to eat a hot dog and instantly broke a hole. I'm looking for the patch. It's really good. So you don't sew your latex back together. You have to patch it back together. Literally, oh, that's hysterical. My dumbass. I just realized my patch is on the wrong side. <laughs> So I didn't do this patch, to be fair, but I directed the person on how to do it, and I did it wrong. But notice how this is shiny, and the patch is not shiny. It's because the patch is upside down. This part should have gone on this side, so it would have blended together. Learn from my mistakes. <laughs> but yes, you would patch it. And you can get patch kits from the places that you're buying your latex and they're wicked cheap. They give you like little squares of different colors and you color match it. And then you just cut it to the size of your hole and glue it on with latex glue. Good God. But look how different it is. Mm. Do you want to see me wear it? Do you want to see me wear it? Do you want to see me wear it? in like two years see how it sticks to you it's not it doesn't have any lube on it right now so it needs a little love Sucks to your skin. You hear that noise? I love latex. Do you hear how different it is from the PVC? I don't think I'll be able to wear this one again. It's so old, you guys. 
has a lot of wear on it. Over time, even if you love your latex, when it gets to a certain age, it starts to get like gummy. And it's gummy. Which means it kind of like loses its stretch and you can kind of start seeing through it a little bit. So over time, it'll, it'll like eventually tear at the seams where the glue is together or in a weak spot. So as you're putting it on one day, it'll just like, your finger, your finger will pop right through. <laughs> That's happened to me before. When I was go-go dancing at a party, I was wearing my friend's latex cat suit and oh, it felt so good. But it was like 12 years old and when I wore it, as I was taking it off, my fingers just like, it was like gum, it just like went right through, like soft and mushy. But she was like, oh, I knew it was gonna happen. And I was like, thank God it didn't happen when I was on stage. <laughs> and she's worn really old latex on purpose so that as she's dancing, she can like rip it off of herself. It looks really cool. It's an expensive prop, let me tell you, but ooh, it feels good. And you can get it for pretty cheap. Um, if you are interested in, in latex, you can go to like Latex Catfish and you'll get it from China, super customized and way cheaper than where you'll get it locally. Just be prepared to wait. <laughs> but yeah. Latex. Helicopter. And real quick, I wanted to show you the fragility of latex. So as I was taking off that bodysuit, you guys it got really gummy and like it's hard to show you on film you can just feel it if, especially if you're familiar with latex if it gets old if it's not treated properly like if it's not cleaned and, and it's stored away properly in the right temperature it gets the life of it gets you know it dies so in this case the weakness was on my booby because they got really big after I had a baby and the split happened right at the seam line where there was glue and then continued into the center of the piece past that seam line but it started on one, see? Like I was saying. Oh yeah so old and gummy. When I was wearing it, I could tell because I could see like the weaknesses on this. See how it kind of just like comes through really easily? It's very thin. And then you're looking at this one, which is brand new. And again, it's still drying. And it's like firm. It's thick, it's shiny, it's very healthy latex. I've only had this one for two years. I love it. I take care of it very carefully. It's a bustle skirt. They have bustle skirts. It's, um, what's it called? It starts with a B, I think. I got a lot of badonka donk noise now, guys, so. <laughs> Demonetized. I would not use my nails on latex ever. It'll poke through if you're not careful. But when I see God, hey, some artists and like just like pretty girls or whatever doing like latex video and then they do like a PVC video and they're like kr, 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 kr. I'm like oh first of all first of all no no you would not do that I'm such an a latex purist and I apologize to anyone who I might be offending not really um 
use your right terminology, guys. Because buttholes like me will call you out on it. Anyway, yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, sorry for the delay. Life gets in the way. And I've been doing a lot of customs, which has been really cool. If you would like a custom from me, just email me. All the information is in my description box below. And if you want a not suitable for work um, request, same thing. You have to describe what you want, and I'll let you know what my price is. And I have a very open mind, very um, king friendly. Um, whatever, I'll sit in a chair and read you bedtime stories. I don't really care what you want. I'm very vanilla, I'm very kink, I'm, I do whatever you want. Not really. I'll, I'll just message me and I'll tell you if I'm okay with it. <laughs>